Hey everyone, it's Daniel from Oracleis, and in this tutorial, we will introduce three different ways on how to generate a random number. Now, in the first part, we are going to use the computation data source, which enables the delegation of code execution to an external context. And we will use this to generate our random number via a simple Python file. In the second part, we are going to use the random data source and uh, that enables smart contracts to receive a random number which is generated in a trusted execution environment and we can leverage the ledger random number generator and in the third part we are going to use the url data source where we fetch uh, a random number from a third party api now let's start with the computation data source and go to our remix ide now this is our testing environment but this time we are going to use the Coven test network in combination with MetaMask. You can see here we are logged in in Coven test network and we have a solid amount of test ether here in our MetaMask account so we can test our smart contract. Now let's start and let's use the version 0.4.25. Um, we need to import the Oracleize API, I'm going to copy and paste this here. Um, so we have access to the functions and now we can say contract random computation example is using Oracleize. So we have access to the API. And now we first of all have to create a variable. Uh, let's call it random number where we store our random number and we need to create our constructor we will public where we set our proof so oracle's set proof and we're going to use the proof type android and proof storage ipfs now our first function is going to be get random number and first of all we need the oracle's query call and here we have to specify the data source and we need the computation data source and the second parameter is the ipfs hash IPFS hash, um, I'm going to copy and paste this here. This is a very specific hash that got uh, returned when we uploaded the archive that stored the, um, the Python script where we want to generate our random number. And um, you can download the original file to look into it if you want to. Now let's create the callback function. First of all, query ID, the results, and the proof. And now, first of all, we need to have our requirements met. Um, we need to check if it's coming from the right address. Should, of course, come from Oracle's callback address so that we are safe. And now we can say random number. We have to do a parse integer equals our result. Now that we created our smart contract and compiled it successfully, we can press on run and we can click on deploy. And now a MetaMask notification comes up. We just have to have to press on confirm. And now we get an Etherscan Coven link here. Now we have to wait a few seconds until the contract has been created. and then we can click on it. Now, as we can see, we just have the contract creation here. No function has been triggered. So let's go back to Remix and call our get random number function. Next, MetaMask notification. And since the first query is for free, we can just press on confirm. And now it might take a few minutes until the callback comes in. Now that the callback came in, we can click on it. And the first entry is the query ID. 
So we can copy it and go to the Oracle's query status page. Now we can paste it here, press on send and look into the results. As we can see, the proof has been successfully generated and our random number is five. And we can also see this when we go back to our Remix IDE and press on random number, we can see the number five. And you can use this uh, successfully generated random number now for your specific purposes. In the second example, we are going to leverage the Oracle's random data source to generate the random number. So let's go back to the Remix IDE. We are still on the Coven test network. And let's start with the smart contract. Then version 0.4.25. And we have to import the Oracle Lights API. Call it random data source example is using Oracle Lights. Again, we have to store, save the random number in a variable and we have to create our constructor. Let's set the proof, set proof, and we are going to use the proof type ledger. Our first function, again, is going to be the get random number, public payable. Now we have to specify a few parameters. First of all, we need a number of bytes. Let's set this to seven. Then we need um, no delay. And let's um, specify a callback as to 200,000. And now we have to call the function oracleize new random ds data source query. Now, the random data source enables smart contracts to receive a random number from a trusted source. In our case, it's the ledger random number generator without having to rely on the data carrier. And this is the function we need in this case. And we need to put in our parameters, delay, number of bytes, and the callback gas. And now we can create our callback function. Um, bytes for the query ID, then we have a result and a proof. Now, as always, first of all, the requirement that it's coming from the right address, Oracle's callback address so that we are safe. Now we need to check if the proof verification has been successful. So we do this via Oracle's random DS proof verify return code. And here we have to put in query ID, result, and proof, and this must equal zero. Then it succeeded. Otherwise, it failed, and we have to handle it in some way. Proof verification failed. Let's assume it's going to be successful. Then we can, first of all, we need to specify a max range in this case. And here we can now set our random number. We have to do a little transformation here this time. Results, and we use our max range. Now that we created our contract and compiled it successfully, we can click on run, deploy, MetaMask notification, press on confirm. And again, we 
get our etherscan coven link we have to wait a few seconds until the contract has been created now that the contract has been created we can click on it and as we see it's just a contract creation no function triggered yet so let's go back to our function get random number again metamask notification confirm first query is for free and now we have to wait until the callback came in as soon as the callback got triggered you can click on it and the first entry is the query id copy and paste it here in the query status page of oracleis and press on send to look into the results as you can see the proof has been successfully generated and the result is here in form of a hex value and if you go back to the remix ide and press on random number you can see here the random number you can work with um, through our transformation we have in our smart contract and you can use that random number from now on for your purposes the third option on how to generate a random number would be the url data source and here we can leverage third-party apis now let's go back to the remix ide and we are still on the coven test network using metamask um, Again, version 0.4.25. Let's call it random URL example is using Oracle's. And again, we have to store the random number in a variable, random number, and set our constructor to set the proof type. Oracle's set proof. And now we can use the proof type Android and we can introduce the proof shield ledger. And this can be set along next to the authenticity proof to uh, enable on chain verification for that proof. The first function, let's call it get random number, table, public. Now the first thing we have to do is find our URL. I'm going to copy and paste this here. So we are basically leveraging the random.org API where we are going to fetch the random number. Now the actual query, query ID gets saved in the variable. And let's use the Oracleized query. We set our data source to URL. And the actual URL is query, query variable. Now, the last thing we have to do is we have to save a hash of the query to so we can ensure that the return proof belongs to that query. And we are going to do this via your Oracle's proof shield commitment. Set the query ID. Proof type Android. And this would be our first function. Now let's create our callback function. Query ID result and the proof. Now, as always, the first requirement if it's coming from the right address callback address to make sure that we are safe. We have to check if the proof verification has has been successful. Oracle's proof shield, proof verify and return code. And here we can put in query ID, the result and the proof, and this must be equal zero. In that case, the proof verification has been successful otherwise it failed and we have to handle it in some way some way let's assume it was successful then we can simply save the rent or save our result in our random number to do the parse integer 
and that would be it. Now that we created a, a smart contract and we compiled it successfully, we can click on run and we can click on deploy. Now we get a MetaMask notification. We can just press on confirm. And now we should get a Etherscan link. Now we have to wait a little bit um, until the contract has been created. This might take a few seconds. Now that it's there, we can click on it. And as we can see, no function has been triggered yet besides the contract creation. Now let's go here and click on get random number. First query is going to be for free. Again, MetaMask notification, press on confirm. Now back to the Etherscan link. Now we have to wait a couple of minutes until the callback has been triggered. Now that the callback came in, we can click on it. And the first entry is the query ID. So let's copy that and go to the Oracle's query status page. I insert it here and press on send to get the results. Now we can see that the proof has been successfully generated and our result is the number six. And if we go back to the Remix IDE, we can also see if we press on random number, the number six. And from here on, we can use the number for whatever reason. So just as a quick summary, what we've seen so far. So we have three different ways now to generate a random number. In the first, we use the computation data source, which kind of enables the delegation of code execution to an external context. And in our case, we want to generate a random number. In the second part, we use the random data source and the random data source enables smart contracts to receive a random number, which is generated in a trusted execution environment. And here, here we can also leverage the ledger random number generator. And now in the third part, we used the URL data source to fetch a random number via a, a third party API, in our case, random.org. And if you want any more information, you can go to our documentation docs.oraclize.it and you can use the Remix ID to um, test your smart contracts also on the official test networks and in combination with MetaMask.